Matthew Summerfield, 28, died 10 days after being punched in the face by Kevin Riley in within Ch Manchester. The dad's devastated family described him as having a heart of gold and said he would do anything for anyone. Riley was previously jailed for 11 years in 2011 for raping a woman in her own home, the Manchester Evening News reports. He was freed in June 2016 under the early release scheme and was on license when he killed Mr. Summerfield, the father of three young girls. Riley, 34, has now been jailed for six years and three months after pleading guilty to manslaughter. A judge rejected Riley's barrister claimed the victim was the author of circumstances that led to an almost inevitable confrontation saying Mr. Summerfield did not contribute to his own death. Manchester Crown Court heard that Mr. Summerfield and some friends had been watching the Liverpool v Manchester United match which ended 0-0 at pubs in Ernston on October 14 last year. Afterwards they got a taxi to Withvenge Prosecuting, Louise Blackwell QC said Mr. Summerfield became involved in a confrontation with Riley's brother William and said Mr. Summerfield was being verbally aggressive. By this time a large group of people were there and by chance Kevin Riley, who was in a taxi, saw members of his family and got out of the cab. Miss Blackwell said Kevin Riley, who did not know Mr. Summerfield, involved himself in the argument on Moat Road. The court heard he grabbed hold of both of Mr. Summerfield's arms and then punched him to the face, causing him to fall to the ground and bang his head and leaving him unconscious. Friends had called one of Mr. Summerfield's sisters to tell her that her brother had been assaulted and she took him to their mother's house in a car. Mr. Summerfield regained consciousness for a period but was disorientated and later collapsed. He lay unresponsive and an ambulance was called. Riley hid in a hotel in Fallowfield and arrested on October 21, three days before Mr. Summerfield died. Mr. Summerfield had suffered considerable bleeding on the brain and doctors were not able to save him. In a victim impact statement read in court by Ms. Blackwell, Mr. Summerfield's mother Deborah said, a part of my life has been taken from me. I am hurting so much and I am so angry that my loving son Matthew has been taken from me and my three beautiful granddaughters. Ms. Blackwell added, she feels that the family are living a life sentence with the loss of their son, brother, and uncle. The court heard that as well as the sentence for rape, Riley has previous convictions for armed robbery, assaulting police officers and affray. He had already been recalled once after being released early from his 11-year sentence for rape for fighting. Defending, Dominic Thomas said Riley, of Rathenshire, feels sadness and regret for his actions. But Mr. Thomas claimed Mr. Summerfield was the author of circumstances that led to an almost inevitable confrontation. He said Mr. Summerfield was shouting threats, including that he would return and petrol bomb the house. It is into that chaos that Kevin Riley arrived, Mr. Thomas said. The barrister said Riley asked Mr. Summerfield to leave. Had Mr. Summerfield gone home, he would be alive today, Mr. Thomas added. Mr. Riley didn't arrive at Moat Road with violence in mind. 
sentencing, Judge Patrick Field QC said he did not accept that confrontation between Riley and Mr. Summerfield was inevitable. Nor do I accept that Mr. Summerfield contributed to his own death, albeit that he undoubtedly behaved poorly on this occasion, the judge added. Mr. Summerfield's death was a tragedy. It was the culmination of an unpleasant incident of public bad behavior that reflects poorly on just about everybody who is involved in it. But it is you Kevin Riley who must live with the fact that it was your punch that ended this young man's life. As a consequence of a brief moment of mindless violence, a young man lost his life. Three young girls lost their father, and a mother lost a son. Profound loss has been suffered by each and every member of Mr. Summerfield's extended family. In a tribute released through GMP after Mr. Summerfield's death, his family said, Matthew was a fine loving son, father, brother, uncle, and cousin who made everyone smile. He had a heart of gold and would do anything for anyone. He had one of the cheekiest smiles that everyone loved. Matthew is going to be sadly missed by all his family and friends. As Matthew would say, one love to you all. Dot, 